Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of Bugisto. In today's video tutorial, we'll be checking how to set up late navigation for a category in Bugisto. So what we'll be doing is we'll be checking how the attribute creation can be done initially. After that, we'll see how the uh, how to add the attribute to the attribute family. We'll also see how on the product edit page we can select the product attribute value so that it allows the product to be filterable in the late navigation. Apart from that, we'll also see how to select the filterable attributes that you want to show for a respective category in the layered navigation there. But before I proceed further with this particular video tutorial today, please do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates from our end. And if you find this particular video helpful, then do kindly give it a thumbs up. So right now you can see that I'm at the Bugisto web store front end right now. So whenever a customer lands on your home page, he'll be able to see the home page of your web store there itself. Now after that, they can access any of the categories by tapping on the category or on the particular category there. And the particular products within the category would be displayed as you can see right now on your screen. So for this demonstration, I've just added two products in a particular category. That's the mixed category. And here after uh, I've tapped on the mixed category, I can see the complete listing of the products within the category. If there are any subcategories of the mixed category, all of those uh, subcategory products would also be listed within the mixed category itself. And all of those products would be listed all at the same place. But if the customer wants to further filter the products depending upon the product attributes, then on the left hand side, he'll find the option that's the shop by. This is the late navigation section wherein uh, the customer will find the particular attributes or the product attributes that can be used to further filter down the uh, results there as per the requirements. So here the customer can choose, for example, uh, he can go with the brand, for example, Louis and the particular product with the brand Louis or the products with the brand Louis would be displayed to the customer there. Uh, the uh, Customer can also select the size. For example, if he goes with the small size, there are none with the brand Louis and size small. And uh, if I go with the size medium, let's see if there are any products. So here we are having the brand Louis with uh, the size as medium. One product is being displayed to the customer there. So that's how the uh, the late navigation appears on the left hand side here on the particular category there. So in today's video tutorial, we'll be checking the workflow of uh, basically setting up the late navigation for a category in Bugisto itself. So let's hop on to the admin backend panel to check the same. So let me clear these uh, filters out from this particular section here. So these are all of the product attributes that you can see like color, size, brand. And here are the option values of the particular ones uh, that are red and green, for example, size are small and medium brands and brands are Louis and Spencer. Now, what we have done is that on at the time of product creation, uh, we have assigned these attribute values to the products and accordingly, then we are able to filter out those products using the late navigation there on the storefront as a customer there itself. So let's hop on to the admin backend panel and let's see the workflow there. So initially we'll see how to create a product attribute and how we can set its property option that is using late navigation to yes first. So let's log into the admin backend panel. After logging into the admin backend panel, what we need to do is we need to navigate to the particular section. Uh, that's the attribute section. And here what we'll be doing is we'll be creating a product attribute and we'll be setting its property to be used in layered navigation and we'll set it as yes. So let's tap here on the add attribute button on the top right hand corner. And let's create a particular attribute. Let's set it as washable. So washable is the attribute code. So we'll be creating a product attribute with the name washable and we'll be choosing its option as yes or no. The attribute type can be selected as per your own requirement there. So for this example, we'll select it as the select option. Also kindly know that the attribute type select is basically used when we are creating a product attribute that is going to be used uh, within a configurable product as well. So I'll choose the attribute code as washable. I'll choose the attribute type as select. I'll set the label that would be visible to the customers at the storefront. 
washable and accordingly uh, you can set it as for your own store locales as well for French you can set uh, the particular washable word in the French language for Dutch in Dutch language Turkish and Espanol as well then uh, what I'll do is I'll come down to this particular section that says options and here I'll choose the swatch type as drop down and uh, here I'll tap on the add option and here I'll set the values for the product attribute that is washable as yes and no so for the admin it would be yes for the store view uh, it would be visible as yes I'll add one more option as no no then under the validations uh, is required whether you want to make it as required or not so we'll leave it as it is then under the configuration here we'll set its property option that is using laid navigation as yes and if you want to make uh, of use of this particular product attribute to create a configurable product then you'll have to choose this option as a yes as well so for now we just set it as using late navigation and we'll tap here on the save attribute but before saving it up we'll set the positions of the particular option values for the product attribute and then we'll tap on the save attribute button so the attribute washable has been saved as you can see washable has been saved now what we'll do is we'll assign this attribute to the attribute family there now depending upon the attribute family that you want to use to create the products there you can assign the product attribute to that particular attribute family so for this example I'll be choosing the default attribute family and I'll be assigning this newly created attribute uh, under the general section itself so here I'll scroll down to the general section as you can see the general section we can edit to description as well but uh, I have created it as washable so we'll set it under the general section so here you can see that already we have added the color size and brand uh, attributes to the default uh, attribute family so to add the attribute I'll tap here on the add attribute here we have the washable I'll select that up I'll tap on the add attribute the washable attribute has been added and I'll tap here on the save family thereafter so you can see that the family has been updated successfully now after that uh, what we'll do is so we'll go ahead and we'll we'll be able to create a new product and when we are creating a new product when, then we'll see that product attribute available uh, there and we can select the option for that particular attribute so that uh, whenever we are using this product attribute in the layered navigation we are able to filter the particular product according to the selected option there so for this example what I'll do is I've already created a particular product for example here I'm having a watch product so let's set the washable uh, product attribute to this so here you can see that under the general section if I scroll down here you can see that the washable product uh, attribute is uh, visible and we are having a drop down option here as a yes or a no so we'll choose it as a yes and we'll tap here on the save product button right now here you can see that here we have the price color size and brand for the mixed category so to enable this uh, uh, filterable attribute uh, for this particular category what we'll do is we'll just navigate to uh, this section and categories and here I'll go to the mixed category and I'll edit it up I'll scroll down and here you'll find the filterable attribute section so here you can see that the washable is also visible the price color size and brand were price color size and brand were uh, enabled for the mixed category so that's why the layered navigation or uh, product attributes visible within the layered navigation are visible under the shop by for the mixed category so for the uh, for the particular mixed category now I'll again go to the filterable attributes and I'll select the washable option as well and I'll save the category there so for the mixed category now if I go to the mixed category and I refresh the page you can see that the washable option is also visible there and the yes option is available for a particular product so the yes option is visible here so if I select this as yes then the watch product will be filtered as you can see here as per the requirement there itself now here we also have one simple uh, what we say as the uh, category now if I go to the simple category here 
you can see that the color size and brand are only uh, enabled for this particular category there now if I go to the simple category here another category that we had created there if I scroll down here I can find the price as well as the washable options now if I save those options for the category there and I refresh the particular page here for the simple category you can see that the color size brand price and the washable options are available here as well as for the requirement itself you can see that up right so that's how easily you can set up the late navigation for a particular category in Bugisto and that was the procedure for the same and I hope that this particular video helped you out in understanding the same so if you still have any questions query sessions or requirements regarding the same then you can anytime get back to us at support at the rate of bugisto.com or you can raise a ticket at bugisto.uvdesk.com as well apart from that if you find this particular video helpful then do kindly give it a thumbs up and lastly thanks for watching this particular video and have a great day ahead